Hi there and welcome to Panning with Kezia and the intro for a new project which is Pan of Green Gables. This is based upon the books Anne of Green Gables. There are eight of them and therefore there will be eight products in this in this panning project and it stretches for eight months. The creator of this project is Anna Mi with two M's. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mi. If you haven't seen the TV series, I recommend it, especially the older ones. Um, they're really, they're really cozy to watch. And if you have watched them, I think you will understand the prompts. Otherwise, they might go over your head a bit. Uh, <laughs> but here we go. The first prompt is hair as red as carrots, something red or orange. And I have decided to try to use this up. This is classic Carmix moisturizing lip balm. And um, it's totally new. I haven't even opened it. And um, I haven't actually used up a balm before a lip balm. So this will be interesting to see if I can do it. I also have other lip, lip balms and lip butters that I want to uh, use up this year. So yeah, I better get going. <laughs> the next prompt is the lake of shining waters for which you have to choose something shiny. And I chose this the, uh, glow milk from the beauty crop. This is a tiny container, really cute, but I guess this will take me quite some time to use up. So I have set a goal to use this a hundred times. Maybe that's too high, uh, but I don't have any other highlighters going on at the moment. So maybe I'll be able to do that. Um, I hope so. A hundred times in eight months. I hope I can do it. Maybe you want to see how it looks. Um, so let's just take some here. It looks really, really metallic when I put it on like this. Um, but it really gives a nice sheen and you've buffed it out a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see a lot of that, <laughs> but it does give a nice shine. It's kind of rosy, a rosy sheen. This is more like a champagne color. Okay, so the next one is a broken slate something broken or damaged. Now I don't own a lot of this, so it kind of came down to two things. <laughs> and I am going to try to use up this pre-glow up mist. This is broken here. So I have emptied as much as I could into another container. You have to see the shininess, like, it is so pretty when you do that, but you know, it doesn't show up on your body. So it's like, it's like a face mist. It doesn't really do anything. It's just making you wet. <laughs> um, so I want to use up this and the last bit of this, this year. Can I do it? I don't know. Uh, this is one of those products that I'm not really familiar with. I need to work it into my routine if I'm to make it, you know, um, because those will be really hard to remember otherwise. The next prompt is my borderline obsession with Gilbert Blythe. Something with a word starting with G. So I have this face gommage and the G is for gommage from Skin & Company. I am currently working on another one. This is something I got in a box full of stuff that I bought from a girl who was decluttering and um, I already owned one so I am currently working on it in another project. Uh, this is a new one so I want both of them gone um, by the end of the year. The next one is puffed sleeves, something bulky or excessive. And for that I chose the Evoluderm um, Detox Body Jelly. Now, I'm not someone who actually uses a lot of body lotions and stuff, and I think this is huge. I mean, I have a huge head, okay? And this is as big as my head. <laughs> it's huge. 
Um, this scares me a bit, just a little bit. But it's also like bulky and you can't really store it in a good way. Um, I can't like place something on the top of it and it's just bulky. I think it's excessive just because I don't really use that much. I'd rather have smaller containers that I could actually go through uh, fairly quickly because otherwise I might use this three times, forget about it. And in a year I'm like, oh, I haven't used it. And you know, I'd rather have smaller containers of kind of everything. <laughs> um, then we have Green Gables, something green. So I have this Ritual of Jing from Rituals, the Sleep Pillow and Body Mist. Now I think I have two of these. I think I might have. Uh, I've already started this. I will try to mark it so that we can see the progress next time. And I have just used up another pillow spray, so this came in very handy. I do sleep twice a day uh, because I work nights and days. So I, I sleep like four hours before work and then four hours after work until my next work starts. So, <laughs> so um, I do get a lot of use out of like sleep things, sleepy things, like a pillow mist. The seventh product is Something Sweet, and it represents Matthew Cuthbert in this series. Um, Something Sweet. I decided that I want to use up this Hula bronzer from Benefit. It is so tiny. It is so cute. <laughs> and it is only three grams in here. It's like two eyeshadows. So I think... I should be able to use it up. What do you think? It is pretty new. I've used it like once or twice, um, but it is getting pretty old. And I mean, I didn't think I would pan and actually use up makeup this year, um, only get usage out of them. But you know, when I see this and have seen my record of actually hitting pan in some things already, I feel like, I am getting bolder and I feel like maybe I can use something up and not just like hit pan in something. So I hope I can use this up. That is my goal. So for the last prompt, we have Marilla Cuthbert. And this is someone with a hard exterior and soft interior. So the prompt is cream or liquid product with hard packaging. And I chose this product. This is pretty big. This is the Narcissa Detox and Glow Essence. Now this is the first essence I've ever tried. I have used some of it, not too much. I think this will be in this project for a long time uh, before using it up. This is by Urtekram. Pronunciation, I don't know. But this is the first essence I've ever tried and I really, really like this step. I really like an essence, so um, yeah. I have no idea how long it will take me to use it up, but I'm going to try to do it in eight months. And that was all of the prompts and products for this project. This project will stretch from February 13th to October 9th. So eight months. I hope I can do it. I hope I can finish all of these things. That would be amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this intro. If you want to follow along on my journey, please hit the subscribe button and like this video if you did. And uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.